hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how i did this gorgeous gorgeous install this is not a wig these are clippings and i'm going to show you guys how i um finesse the clippings without leaving any hair out so sit tight and let's jump straight into the video hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have another video for you guys i'm going to be showing you how i installed these clippings yes this is not a wig this is not a v-power wig these are clippings that I installed. So if you're thinking of getting clippings and you want to get a texture that does not match your own hair texture, you want to get a texture that's very much different from your own hair texture, I'm going to show you guys how you can still do that and achieve a very nice look. I did the crochet method at my roots, so I did not have to leave any hair out at all. All my hair is braided down underneath, so all my hair is very much protected. So I'm going to show you guys how I installed this, how I made the hair to look like this. So yeah, if you're not already subscribed, please and click that subscribe button down below turn on your notification bell so you're notified for when i upload my videos and without further ado sit tight and let's jump straight into the video okay so the clippings are from amazing beauty hair i got two packs 20 inch jerry curly clippings this is the stuff that comes in the box so this is what the clipping looks like when you take it straight out of the pack as you guys can see and um, there are different clippings attached different sizes for different parts of your head so there is one with four clips and then you have uh, two with three clips and then you have three with two clips and then you have one with a single clip so different lengths of clips for different parts of your head so now i'm showing you guys what the clipping looks like when you define the curls versus when you take it out of the pack so on the left we have the defined curls i put mousse and brushed it through and on the right you have the straight out of the pack look so if you want a more natural looking curl i'd advise you to define the curls like the way it is on the left so now I'm showing you guys how I define the curl so that it will look like, um, a, like a more defined natural curl. So you want to spray some water, take some mousse, apply it to the clippings, take a brush and just brush the hair through. There, I, there is barely any tangling or shedding in this hair and the hair is very, very soft, very nice quality. As you can see, as you're brushing it, the curls literally define instantly. So I'm just bringing it closer so that you guys will see the curls. Look at the shine on the hair. Very nice, gorgeous, natural curl pattern. Like I said, this is the Jerry Curly Texture 20 inches. So I went ahead and braided my hair down. I, you know I keep my hair in twists. So I braided my twist down and I hung all the clippings to dry on a hanger. Now I'm just going to tuck my twist in to create my base before I start to um, put in the clippings. So I'm just tucking everything in so it will be nice and, and flat, as flat as I can possibly make it. So these are the clips. As you can see, you open them and close them to attach them to your hair. And I'm going to start just simply attaching them to my hair. As you can see, I'm standing in front of a three-way mirror so I can see exactly what I'm doing and where I'm placing the clippings. So, like I said, there are different lengths of clippings. You can use them from, for different lengths of your hair. Now, I'm back again in my front um, mirror, my main mirror, and I'm going to start um, putting the clippings on the sides, kind of like in the direction you would do if you're like getting a sewing. The direction that you will sew the weft in, that is the direction that I am I'm attaching the clippings in. So I didn't really finish the back. I wanted to make sure that I was done with the front first. Then I go ahead and fill up any spaces in the back just to make sure that all the two packs of clippings, I'm, I'm able to use two packs of clippings and they are enough for me. So yes, two packs would be enough for a full head of hair. So now I'm done doing the front. I'm going to go in and just fill up the spaces in the back and I ended up using all the clippings. So now I am done attaching the clippings. It looks kind of crazy right now, especially at my part. But I'm going to show you guys how to finesse it. So I'm taking a large hook. I'm doing the crochet method. I've shown you guys this method countless times. I use it with clippings. I use it with V-part wigs. It is a method. It's such an efficient method to use if you want to do um, get clippings or a V-part wig that doesn't match your hair texture and you do not want to leave any hair out. So you basically pass the latch hook at the base of your hair at the root. Make sure you take your time to do this and do this gently so that you don't rip out your hair. Put a piece of hair from the clipping, close the latch hook and pull it through. 
so it, it i've done this several times before and i'll tell you right now it's better to take small pieces as opposed to taking big chunky pieces take small pieces like i'm doing it makes it look more seamless it makes it look nicer so you just keep doing that until you're satisfied with how it looks um at the part as you can see, I've already done the other side, so I'm just showing you guys what to do with this side that I'm doing now. Like I said, be careful when doing this. Please take your time. This video is sped up. Take your time to do this so that you do not rip out your hair. Now, as I'm, I'm crocheting the little pieces into my, uh, my part, the hair is going to frizz up a bit, but that's okay. You can always go ahead and define the curls later at the part. I'm going to do that later on in the video. But now I am done. I'm fixing up my parts. So I'm just going, going ahead to like separate the hair because I wanted a little more volume. So yeah, I'm just doing some light separation. So I have volume and still um, a good amount of curl definition. So I'm done fluffing it out now and I am in love with the way this thing looks. This is absolutely gorgeous. So as you can see, I'm taking uh, my mousse and just defining some of the hair at my um, parts just to make it look um, nicer and more seamless. So yeah, I am basically done. I'm going to turn around so you guys will see how everything looks from different angles and you see that this is very, very seamless. All the clippings are installed you can't really see the tracks or anything like that this is a very very efficient method so I went ahead and put on some makeup and I'm gonna show you guys the final look now this is absolutely gorgeous I love the curl pattern of the hair like I said 20 inches jerry curly from amazing beauty hair the hair is incredibly soft barely any tangling or shedding i've reviewed hair from them before and they always have good quality hair so yeah stay tuned to the end of this video for more info on where you can get the hair and let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section so this is a full clipping install like i said all my hair is braided down so you can definitely get clippings and um, install them in a way that you don't have to leave any hair out at all you don't have to blend your hair or anything like that thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section like i said these gorgeous very gorgeous clippings are from amazing beauty hair all the information is going to be down below in the description box don't forget to like comment subscribe and share you can subscribe to my channel by clicking subscribe button down below on my face on this side also do not forget to watch my other hair videos on this side i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys